Hi guys and welcome to a new video. This is for a DIY fidget spinner I've just made, so you might recognise what it's made from. It's actually a scooter wheel. Show you that side. So you can't get any more simple than making this fidget spinner by just putting the caps off a fidget spinner straight onto a scooter wheel. So that's it. That's all it that's all it took. I thought why not just adapt something that already exists as virtually a spinner but just adapt it a little bit more. So let's go ahead and put it that way. So I did some runtime tests on it. So these are brand new bearings that are in there. There's two of them. One on each side. Full skateboard bearings. So let's go ahead and put that down. So the run times with these brand new bearings. So they, with shields they ran for three seconds. With no shields and grease in them they ran for six seconds. So with no shields and no grease this side ran for one minute and twelve and this side run for one minute and one. So that side was the faster side by 10 seconds. So you can get them to run faster on, on one side or the other. They don't generally run the same both sides. So if you if these are too, if this one's too big for you, because it's quite big for me, you can actually uh, potentially use inline skate wheels as well. So they should take normal skateboard bearings as well. So I cleaned out four bearings so they have no oil and no grease in them. So I'll pick the best two, as every bearing is different. It might look the same, but it isn't. Inside it's just not the same. So I even went as far as removing the cage around the balls, which I'm going to show you now. You can do that if you want. It will speed them up, but this will happen. They'll fall to bits, because that's what the cage does. It separates the balls and stops the, um, the centre bit collapsing and your balls fall out and you lose all your balls and you've got to throw the bearing away. So if you if you do take the cage out be aware that that could happen or it will happen. So let's go ahead and show you the the weight. Let's go ahead and get the scales in. So I've just switched them on. So it's quite a heavy spinner this one. So 174 grams is its weight, so it's quite a heavy one, but that's good for spin time. Let's go ahead and show you in ounces, 6.1 ounces. So let's turn that off and move that out of the way. So the slop in the bearing, there's barely any because there is actually two bearings in there, so I can barely tell any movement difference there. So there's barely any any movement in the bearing, which is good. So it's not fantastically easy to uh, to spin with one hand, even for my... You can spin it, but you won't get a massively long spin. But you'll certainly be the only one in it that you know with a, with a fidget spinner lo that looks like this. So, uh, let's go ahead and show you the bearings. Go ahead and get the cap off. They just pop straight off. So I've left the cages on these ones. So there's no grease or oil in them. These are completely clean bearings. I don't know if you can see that there. Let's get a real good close up of them. So you can see the metal cage around them separating the balls. So that's two. So it's got one more bearing than most fidget spinners have, but it doesn't have the spacer in the middle. I've took that out to try and make it work as long as possible. I don't know if you can see right in between those bearings. So I will be lubing the bearings with GT85 because I don't like running bearings with no oil on. They will go rusty. They'll just pick up damp and moisture and go and go rusty. So let's put that to one side at the moment and show you what the GT85 looks like. So this is the tin of GT85 that I bought. Let's see if it'll... So that's the uh, pictures it shows on there. That's what it says. Loosens rusted parts. So it contains PTFE. The PTFE forms a long-lasting protective and lubricating film. Displaces water. So directions for use. So this is only available in the UK, I think, because it's made in the UK. And that's what the front of the tin looks like. So it's better than WD-40 because it actually evaporates and leaves a very thin film of PTFE, which is what it says down there. So I'll link to PTFE to tell you what that is. 
So, so I'll see what it does to the runtime. Let's just move that back. So I'll see what this GT85 does to the runtime and add it to the description. Uh, as like I said, the bearings without any protection on will go rusty and they will certainly slow down pretty quickly. So I'll be getting a lot more of different designs of fidget spinners when they arrive and I'll do a video on them when they turn up. So let's just put them out of the way. So you can see what you get for the smallest amount of money. And these are ones I've already done videos on. So this is a titanium coloured one. I don't know if you can see that. I'm just trying to reflect the light off the surface. So that's one of them. This is another one I've done a video on already. It's a flower, five, five fingered flower design with the made from plastic. And this is one I haven't actually done a video of yet. So this is quite an interesting one. This was quite a cheap one. It wasn't really cheap, but it was quite cheap. And that's uh, that's what it spins like. I'll be doing a video on this one quite in in quite a short amount of time. So check back if you want to see a video on this. So so that's it, guys. So thanks for watching and. Uh, Check back soon. Cheers.